Hello guys, usually every Saturday I post a video from my car about not so much Laravel topic but more about career advice. Today it's a video about career advice but not from my car because I thought that this is better to explain in a video from my office because we're reviewing a CV now. I received an email from this person who asked for any help to find the first developer job because he's struggling and he's looking for any kind of advice or tips and he sent the CV as an example. I've blurred some personal details, but you see the point. And I have five tips, five pieces of advice, how we can improve that CV. If you have any more tips after my tips, shoot in the comments below and the author would be glad and appreciate any tips and any advice. So thing number one, in this CV, there is no practical experience. So he's saying one years of experience, but there's no link, there's no website, there's no GitHub, nothing. Typically, employer is looking for any proof that you can actually deliver. So it should be experience in some company, it should be your own project, it should be your GitHub account. If you don't have anything, then create something. Work on some open source project, put stuff on GitHub, create a website for your family member or a friend. I have a separate video actually with this advice. And generally I have a few related videos, so look in the description below some more videos for advice for junior developers. But my main point is you have to have links to your projects in your CV. My second tip is starting with summary and the summary is plain text that no one would actually read. Imagine a typical employer or even his secretary or someone who is the first line to get and filter all the CVs. It may be 100 CVs and they have very limited amount of time and they need to get just a general impression. So they start with summary and start skimming. They don't actually read, remember, they skim web developer with one year's experience and by the third sentence they just turn off and don't read more. So in general, avoid long sentences in the CV and especially don't start with them because they wouldn't read anything below that. And speaking about the parts below, skill highlights and experience should be exchanged in places. So summary, I would remove it altogether at all and put experience on top. Because if someone is looking for a developer for like Laravel developer or React developer or HTML or whatever, they're looking for the match of technologies first. So this should be your first number one highlight of your CV, whether it's match or not. And then the order of experience should be exactly in the order of skills that you apply for. And you need to edit your CV accordingly. There shouldn't be one CV for every job. You look at the job description, then you edit your CV, emphasizing specifically the skills that needed for that particular job, and then you send it to that employer. So experience should be on top before skill highlights. And actually skill highlights. I'm reading that project management, strong decision maker, take care of what's new, creative design, able to organize, adaptable, it's kind of pointless to be honest. Everyone claims to be a strong decision maker. What does that actually mean in the daily life of a developer? Would anyone say they are weak decision maker? Or would anyone say that they are not able to organize workload? I think in my opinion those parts of the CVs are kind of pointless, not because they don't mean anything, they actually do mean something, but everyone writes almost the same thing. I'm reliable, serious, organized, so it becomes kind of blah 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 thing. Again, it wouldn't help your CV to stand out from the crowd of 100 CVs. So maybe I would leave that in the CV, but somewhere at the bottom. Probably even below the education. Education, I don't actually personally believe in the formal education for developers that much, because quite often universities and colleges teach quite outdated stuff, to be honest. But still, for anyone reading the CV, the education should be the match. So if someone has a degree of information technology, it means they are developer by trade. And if they finish some university, it kind of tells the employer that student is a reliable person, reliable enough to finish the degree. Not everyone can do that. Tip number four, and it's kind of repeating the same thing that I've pointed earlier, is don't list the skills that you don't want to apply for. So for example, skill highlights, number one is project management. Are you going into project manager position? Same thing, creative design. Are you looking for a designer job? It says full stack web developer on top. 
So why are you trying to convince the employer that you are also a project manager and also a creative design person? Probably the author means that they are strong at organizing themselves and also creative, but then it falls into a blah 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 category that I mentioned earlier and I'm not sure if it brings any value for the employer when they are reading the CV. And finally, CV should be polished, so take care of grammar, spelling and styling mistakes and errors. And I see quite a lot of them on the CV. I do understand that that person is not an English speaking person, so English is not his mother tongue and it is listed on the CV itself. But still, things like one years of experience, it should be one year. Things like consistency, like dot at the end of the point and space dot here, so dot with space or dot without space. You would think these are small details, but for an employer, they are looking for detail-oriented person, as any developer should be, by the way. And those small mistakes would totally give you some minus points when comparing your CV to other developers. Another example is on the left, so address on the same line, but blurred, of course, phone, same line, and birth date, for some reason, it has a space and underlined text. Why? Also here, English very good with a dot at the end, mother tongue without a dot. Again, you would think they are small details, but on a CV with limited time, every detail matters. It's kind of like your card that you present to an employer to give a good impression. So try to give a good impression, including the grammar and styling, and it doesn't take too much time. Ask for external help if you don't feel that this is your skill. I'm not saying that developers should be good at grammar, but to get a job, you don't have to be only the developer, you also need to be a good presenter of yourself. So these are five things that I've noticed on this CV. If you have anything else to add, shoot in the comments below. And as I said, I have a few videos at the bottom in the description related to finding first jobs for developers or freelancers, so check them out as well. Subscribe to the channel to get daily tips from me, both on Laravel and on career. And if you have any questions, also use the comment section below. See you guys in other videos.